Hey guys, Mars Thinking here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and today we are going to talk about the hype for the transforming Vegeta that Team Dokkaner has posted about on Twitter um, a couple of hours ago now. I'm a little bit late because I was stuck at work until about an hour ago. So the tweet here, when you land in a Dokkan fest for Saiyan Day on Global and JP at the same time. The Prince will be available in a multi-form version, Super Saiyan to Super Vegeta, Super Saiyan 2, God, and then Blue. We should have a little common celebration for the occasion. So, going to be another awesome dual JP and global celebration. Those are always seemingly incredibly popular. I wouldn't be surprised, depending how good the unit is, if both versions hit number one in the App Store. But, this is definitely hype. So... One thing we obviously have to compare to is the Goku. So if we take a look back at the Goku, he was a super types leader and Frieza was the extreme types. What the Vegeta's leader skill is going to be is probably the biggest like point of discussion. I mean, obviously, we all want to know what he's going to do in terms of his passive and what his super attack is, whether he has any of these sort of mechanics. But... His leader skill is definitely the most important. And the fact that he's being released on both, I'm very interested to see what it's going to be. Like, I'd be very disappointed if he just had another super types leader skill. Even if it was up to something like 150%. I don't know. I don't think they'd go as high as 170 yet for something as all-inclusive as just super types. But even if it was a super types 150, I think that would be a little bit disappointing. I personally am definitely hoping that he is a dual category leader. Um, probably along the lines of maybe pure Saiyans and Realm of Gods. Because just like this Goku, who goes God and then goes Blue, he is, of course, in the Realm of Gods category. So you would assume the Vegeta is going to be as well. And, of course, he's a pure Saiyan. So those seem like two very fitting leader skills. And then just like the Goku, he's going to be in a ton of categories. Realm of Gods, he's not going to be in Super Saiyan 3. Pure Saiyans, full power, transformation boost, and then obviously Vegeta's lineage on JP, which we don't have on Global yet. But just like, I wonder if they'll add another one just because he doesn't have the Super Saiyan 3. Hmm. I can't think of any other. I guess maybe because he only goes Super Saiyan God in the Broly movie, they could potentially put him on Movie Heroes, which would be pretty awesome. Because, I mean, that team is brand new to Global and is already stacked so if he was on that category that would be absolutely fantastic so it's going to be interesting to see how they make this work if they make him exactly the same as the goku where he transforms once every turn then i feel like people are going to be a little bit disappointed because the goku and the freezer as good units as they are you basically never see super saiyan god blue, well super saiyan blue and you rarely see super saiyan god so if they make it exactly the same where he just transforms up one stage every turn, I feel like that could be a little bit anticlimactic. So I guess we are just going to have to wait and see. Um, there's definitely a lot of things they could do if they gave him the ability to skip potential transformations based on certain rec like prerequisites. Like maybe if you get to the start of the turn and you're below half health, he automatically goes straight to God or something like that. Um, but yeah, we, we kind of have to wait and see. One thing I did think of on the way home, which I'm sure is just wishful thinking really, but it could be possible that he could maybe, because he's coming out on JP at the same time, imagine if they gave him an active skill and then he was the unit that officially brought active skills to global. I mean, we wouldn't then get another unit that had them until pretty much the four year when we get the LR pan, but... I mean, hey, he could be the only unit on Global with an active skill. I'm sure no one would complain. So there are a lot of things that they could do with this Vegeta to make him very, very good. So let me know down below in the comments, what do you think we are going to see? What do you think he's going to do? What would you hope that he's going to do? Um, I think everyone's big fear and everyone's biggest hope is that whilst he goes up through the stages, they actually give him some cool and interesting super attacks. Because unfortunately for Goku, most of his are just copy and paste from old units. I'm pretty sure the Super Saiyan 1 and 2 Supers are just the very, very basic Kamehameha animation that a lot of units that came out in the first year or so all had. 
So I'm really hoping, I'm not expecting like, you know, Int Goku Black, you know, Broly Gogeta level of super attack for every single stage. But I definitely would be a little bit disappointed if they were just like copy and paste old Gallic Gun and Big Bang attacks from old Vegetas. But I guess all of that will be remain to be seen. I will of course make a video with the updated information as and when we get it. So like I said, let me know down below in the comments. Shout out to Team Doconor. Follow him if you don't already. And yeah, let me know down below what you are most excited about and if you are going to summon. So I was saving towards AGL Metal Cooler, but I'm definitely going in for this Vegeta. So let me know what you guys are going to do. So smash like on the video, subscribe if you're new, follow me, all my social media is in the description, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one!